Hi YouTube and welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, we explore how the technology landscape has completely changed with the introduction of Gen AI and large language models or LLM. The challenge now is how can we as individuals or organizations try to extract maximum value from this new innovation? Well, to help address some of the age old challenges, which we'll discuss later in this video, Snowflake have tried to make LLMs and Gen AI far more accessible and easier to use with the introduction of Snowflake Cortex. But what is it really? How can you use it? And why should you care? Well, in this video, I'm going to help you answer those questions so you can make your own mind up. Now, Gen AI and LLM have came along in recent months and changed the technology landscape forever. Now organizations and individuals alike are trying to work out how we can best leverage these new tools to drive innovation, create new products, and be more productive, as well as extracting more value and insights from our data assets. Now the past few months have seen a lot of hype around this, with everyone from technology vendors to C-suite executives discussing the need to be seen to be doing something with these new innovations. However, seasoned data leaders and professionals recognize that in order to really leverage Gen AI and LLM, there's a few fundamental things that need to be in place before you can do this. And a critical piece of this jigsaw is to have a solid, robust, flexible, scalable data architecture in place. You need to be able to ingest data of different data formats from structured to semi-structured to unstructured data, transform and clean that data to make sense of it and to provide that to your data consumers to derive and generate insights to inform strategic decision making. Not only that, you need to orchestrate the whole piece, secure those data assets, and make sure that only those people who are allowed to access certain data assets can see them. And all of that is certainly not an easy feat. And in my experience, the majority of my customers are somewhere on that journey at different levels of maturity. Now, all of this is leading to skepticism in the data community, which is asking the question, like, how real is the value of these Gen AI services and LLM functions? And how really can we get value from it if we're still working on some of the fundamental aspects? Even then, if you have a strong and resilient data platform in place, the next challenge is how do you embed analytical processes or insights into your operational processes. The technology vendors have tried to address this path to production issue by developing services that run on top of your data where the data resides. Which means if you've already got your core data foundations that we discussed earlier in place, then bring in Gen AI and LLM to your data and crucially make them easy to use and access should theoretically make adoption easier. And in an attempt to exploit this opportunity, Snowflake has recently launched Snowflake Cortex. And this is a suite of services designed to facilitate access to advanced LLMs, including Snowflake's own, which is called Snowflake Arctic. Cortex then allows customers to integrate cutting edge AI technologies into the existing data systems and pipelines securely and efficiently. What does this mean for you in your business? Well, if your business is looking to enhance operations using AI, then Snowflake Cortex offers a substantial advantage. By integrating AI directly with well-governed clean data, companies can ensure secure, efficient, and effective use of generative AI. And that is obviously top of mind for companies looking to maintain data privacy and security while harnessing the benefits of AI. So let's go to the next level of detail and just understand what Snowflake Cortex is. If we look at the diagram on the screen, Snowflake Cortex is a managed service. That means Snowflake take care of all the back end of things, all the resource management, all of the complexities abstracted away so that you and your business and your data teams can leverage the tools to deploy LLMs really easily. These models, which power Gen AI applications, can now be accessed directly within the Snowflake environment. You don't need any additional tools or services or licenses to access this. And so this service really aims to simplify the integration of the AI capabilities and it handles complex tasks like model optimization and GPU infrastructure management behind the scenes as part of that managed service. So your business and your teams can focus on leveraging AI rather than maintaining it. 
On this diagram, you can see that Snowflake Cortex is essentially a collection of AI and LLM functions, which can be called from within the Snowflake environment. Crucially, these functions work on top of your clean, secured and governed data, which already exists in Snowflake. And these functions can be called with no specialist machine learning skills, and you don't need to be a data scientist to use them. On top of the suite of tools within Snowflake Cortex, there's then three different services. Document AI, Universal Search, and Snowflake Copilot. Document AI can read unstructured data from documents such as PDF files, as well as building a model over the top automatically, leveraging that data as it's extracted from the PDF files and allowing users to ask questions using natural language. The model that's created out of the box does a pretty good job, but it's gonna need a bit of refinement and a bit of training. And how you do that is you will ask it questions, you will get an answer. If that answer is incorrect, you can override it and that helps train and refine the model, which gets more accurate over time. Universal Search allows users to search for database objects within your Snowflake account, as well as data products and native applications from the Snowflake marketplace. And then Copilot. This is an LLM powered assistant to generate and refine SQL, again, using natural language. So analysts can ask Copilot a question and it will write a SQL query using the relevant tables and columns within your data model. You can then copy that SQL statement, put it into a new worksheet and execute that and get the results back. So when we look at Snowflake Cortex and the approach it takes, how does it address some of the typical challenges with AI implementation? Well, before the advent of integrated models like Snowflake Cortex, businesses faced a lot of hurdles when implementing analytical models. Now, traditionally, leveraging ML required data scientists have very specialist skills to extract large amounts of data from a centralized data warehouse out of that system and into a dedicated modeling platform or technology such as SAS, for example. Now, that method and approach presented several challenges. First of all, you had to take a lot of data and physically move it from your data warehouse into your data science application. First of all, that creates redundancy. You've got data now in two different places. Potentially then your IT and data teams don't have the right level of visibility with it. You're also paying for storage for that data in two different places. The next question comes about how you can kind of keep the data up to date in your uh, data science framework. So if your data warehouse is getting updated on a regular basis over here, how do you filter those changes through and refresh that data so you can keep your models up to date with the latest data? So again, that would involve refreshing that data and physically moving more data between those two systems, generating additional points of failure and latency as part of that process. Not only that, you've got now got two separate systems containing um, a large crossover of the same data. Somebody's going to have to manage these, keep the lights on, operationally manage that data and secure it in two different ways in two different places. So the overhead is almost double. And even after you've done all that, let's say you've built a model, you've trained it, it works really well, it's adding value and you're going to generate new insights. You want to feed those insights back into your operational systems and processes. That's where it becomes really challenging. So how does Cortex address so many challenges? Well, it aims to reduce that data movement. All your data now lives and stays in Snowflake within one secure and managed environment. That integrated approach then eliminates the need to export data to external systems and reduces that latency and data redundancy challenges that we just mentioned. It also allows data teams to maintain better visibility and control over the data in one place. And that helps you and your teams ensure that security and governance standards are maintained and are consistent. And so by simplifying that technical landscape, Snowflake Cortex democratizes access to AI, making it easy for non-specialist ML developers or data scientists to access and tap into those algorithms all packaged up within these functions within the Cortex service. This can allow you to analyze text content from unstructured data and generate content such as personalized emails, improve customer engagement and conversion rates. And additionally, the Snowflake LLMs and Gen AI service supports a range of models, not only Snowflake's Arctic model, but also Google's Mistral AI and third party models like Llama 3 
and Record Core. And they all cater for different use cases and different tasks in their own way. So in summary, Snowflake Cortex represents a really significant step forward for businesses who currently use Snowflake and want to leverage AI and LLM. The comprehensive support for all these different models and the ability to integrate into your own Snowflake environment, it's really, really going to help open the door to a number of different use cases and innovation. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, keep watching, keep subscribing. New videos coming very soon.